Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Payback 2 on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Payback 2 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Payback 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, to get started we need to launch our main web browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because there's the clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. After clicking on this link, we land here on the website of Bluestacks. Which the Android emulator that we will launch to get access to that game Payback 2 on the PC. As you can discover here we have some pros of running the emulator. Then, we are ready to proceed to download the Payback 2 by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green color. We then click on it. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. What we have to do now is to launch the executable file, ok, then we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the laptop or device. We clicked yes. I minimize the web browser to find the installation software better. The installation software is pretty simple. It consists of two choices, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does. We simply just click on it. And so we discover that we have now here the path where the emulator can be installed. If we prefer to change for better this directory we have got to click on the browse option and we decide on another directory and set up the emulator precisely where we like. To keep it simple, just keep it as it is. I click on back. And therefore I just click on install. Great. The install begins and it is going to progress with the download of those MB that happens to be displayed on our screen. As you download it, it is likely to be a little more or less MB. The data transfer rate will go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, based on your connection and according to the speed of the emulator servers. Today they are going super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator happens to be started successfully. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar which will advance to the right then, when it attains the ending, the emulator will be started for the first time. The reality is the emulator is already launched, here for the first time. Before we keep going, as you will notice, it made two software icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is definitely the one we are considering. Anytime we need to operate Payback 2 on our laptop or computer, we double mouse click on this particular icon and use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we conduct the next phase, which is actually a must-have, and that is to log on to the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will browse here to, System Apps, we click on and we are going to mouse click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is presented. At this point we are required to sign in. At present the moment we are on this page, we must definitely conduct the following step which is imperative. So we mouse click on Sign In. Presently it shows Checking Info. It might once in a while get stopped at Checking Info and it fails to advance. In that case, you should try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it will surely probably be solved. At this time we're going to type our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email and its associated password. For example you can utilize the same email address you are using at the moment in your own YouTube account. So that I will type my information and I'll revisit as soon as I have done it. Voila, info typed. Find out Google welcoming us and offering us their twos. We would accept all of them by clicking, I agree. Following that, it make us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You can let it selected and it will make a backup of your data on that device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We click accept. The Google Play Store is started without need to open it manually and automatically. 
To set up the video game, we are required to go to the Android emulator desktop by clicking on that icon designated in green. At present that we are discovering the desktop of that Android emulator, we see that we have now right here the install app game button. We simply click on the button. Listed here we access to the game app. Let's simply click here on the install choice that I'm just highlighting now in green color. That click will initiate the software installation. Presently it will install the game, it typically takes a while or perhaps it may be amazingly quickly. This all is determined on the connection to the web. It's just finished setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing that button that I'm showing in green, that allows you to start Payback 2 for the very first time. You are by then on the emulator desktop, and consequently we are preparing to just click on the brand new Payback 2 app icon which has been created. That Android game is launched for the first time. So there we end up with it, I can press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to talk about the volume level of that emulator. This is here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this way we do not depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of this emulator. And also to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we will activate the big screen, for which we have two choices. This one is simply the first one, we mouse click on that app icon that I'm showing in green. Thus the display screen is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Supposing that we aspire to have fun with the game using all the screen, we hit that icon. And we'd presently be experiencing and enjoying the game in 100% screen setting. To escape the full screen setting, press the F11 key. And we might now play in standard screen setting. At present, I am ready to present you the computer keys mapping and that is rather enjoyable. This step we will be ready to use the game application much more effortlessly. The very first point is to press this application icon. It's now time to complete the necessary controls. I'll go ahead and leave the standard configuration, however if you want to improve it, you can easily do so with no problem. As you can observe, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. In certain cases it occurs that the emulator is started in the erroneous language, for example, in Mandarin. And as a consequence to place it in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. So right here inside of other controls, we mouse click on the language drop down. We are able to choose the language we wish, English, Japanese, etc. As soon as the language is selected, we could save, the emulator will reboot, as well as the Android game, the next time we start it, will also be in the chosen language. At this time, you will find another thing that we must take into consideration, and it's that we will receive an email saying that a completely new device has been connected with our Google account. It is going to question us if we are the people who have associated with that device. Of course, we must not worry, since the emulator is simulating an Android device. So you can find which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Be sure you browse here to the, model, selection. And now we observe that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for my tutorial. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, especially that everyone found it informative. If so, bring it a great thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer all your remarks, requests or suggestions, let them in the comment field below. Simply click on any of the instructional videos that are showing up on the screen and see you in the next videos. Bye.